This is not a video about how to configure Hyperland. This is a video about how to get started fast on FreeBSD with Hyperland. Welcome back ladies and gents. If you have um, missed my installation of FreeBSD, maybe check that out first and then we are going to go and install Hyperland. So if you have watched my previous video, you will know that we uh, have stopped roughly about on this position. So the first thing you want to do if you're installing Hyperland, well, just install it, okay? uh package install hyperland and i have a um, shalabachter here you're going to use the hyper idle maybe hyper paper you need hyper picker you definitely need xdg desktop portal hyperland okay here we go Press yes here, just pull all of the required packages. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit so that we can talk a little bit more. Here we go, your Hyperland is now installed. You need a way to run it. So the first thing that you're going to do is how are you going to log into Hyperland? So my preferred way is SDDM, so let's do that. Uh, package package install sddm good so just pull that one okay press yes here so that it uh, automatically installs uh, once you log in into hyperland you're going to need some kind of um, um, the, the terminal emulator uh, x term is pre-installed if that's fine with you just don't install anything else i'm gonna install a la Kriti. okay that one is fine good pull that one you're going to need that one um, you're going to need a way uh, how to launch applications so let's go with Rofi Wayland okay usually uh, Hyperland recommends Wofi but that one kind of sucks and Rofi is better. So I always install Rofi for myself. Uh, let's give it a moment until it installs. Okay, there is a good chance that you're going to want some kind of a status bar. Uh, one of the popular is a shell. Uh, this one works out of the box in terms of it is made for Hyperland and uh, it is um, kind of a pre-configured but a lot more popular is Waybar which is actually designed for, for Sway uh, window manager so let's go with that one because most people just expect to have that one on their Hyperland system but you are going to need to reconfigure it uh, from default Sway configuration uh, to the Hyperland configuration uh, there is a good chance that you are going to need XORG because without XORG there is no XWayland. Without XWayland half of your applications just don't work. So pull that as well. Okay. There is another good chance that you're going to need a web browser. So um, let's pull Firefox. If you need another browser, well, install whatever you like but in this video we are going to use firefox one of the reasons why we are using firefox in this video is because chromium uh, is not installable on freebsd on the date of the recording of this video uh, it is installable uh, in the latest uh, packaging system but not in quarterly and quarterly is default on freebsd which is what we are using right now. And I prefer quarterly because it uh, pretends to be stable uh, compared to um, latest, which pretends to be Arch Linux in a way. So depending on whether you want um, 
big software updates uh, four times a year or you want to have the rolling package manager that reminds you on Arch Linux then just switch to um, then just switch to latest it's just one line in the config file okay we are going to need support for my graphics card i have uh, intel card here type drm k mode you are going to need this without this uh, your graphics card is not going to function properly um this is overkill what i am pulling right now if you know which packages are for your graphics card uh, just read what the list is pulling uh, and decide whether you need just one of these uh, more of these all of them uh, it's up to you i'm just giving you a way how to get up to speed with as few commands as possible so if this is bloat then just unbloat your system it's that easy okay uh, another thing is you will want to load this driver this module on your system boot so just type the command sysrc and then kld underscore list uh, sorry plus so that you're adding uh, a new one and then equals and then um, the uh, quotes and inside quotes i915 kms which is going to pull uh, your intel drivers what's up dog okay make sddm start on reboot okay service sddm enable there we go it's now enabled uh you are going to run dbus as well on system boot this is important and you are most probably going to need seat daemon so enable all three of these and then just press ctrl delete to reboot your system and we should be ready to roll there we go the system is now booting up your wireless interface is going to automatically connect this is okay and once the system is booted you should be getting your sddm login screen you can skin this later on for now it doesn't matter uh, type your password to login and you're going to be ending up in your fresh new hyperland desktop uh here we go this is your hyperland so we ran it for the first time in order to generate a config file so now press the super button plus m so that you kill uh, hyperland and we're going to be back to the login screen this is all intentional so let's go to the um uh, to the console login as user okay and go to the dot config and then to hyper folder and in here you're going to file a, find a file called hyperland.conf okay so just edit this file and put the um, hashtag on the auto generated line so that the yellow warning doesn't light up next time that you log in uh, you can set up your monitors if you have ever used hyperland then um, you will know pretty much how to configure this the uh, reasoning behind this video is not to show you how to configure hyperland it's just how to get started quickly with a new operating system freebsd if you need more help on how to configure hyperland i have um uh, blah, blah, blah. here it's going to be linked uh, a video of me installing Hyperland on Linux and configuring it. This should give you um, a little bit more help. It's a bit older video, but all inside it is pretty valid still. Okay, so your terminal that you're going to use. Okay, let's change it to Ala Kriti. Uh, type whatever terminal you're using. Your file manager, if you have installed it change it to whatever you are using in this video we haven't installed it uh, but it doesn't matter 
for the demonstration. If you're using Rofi like me, remove one line here, the one minus sign, and change Rofi to Rofi. This is fine. Okay, you can skim a little bit deeper into the configuration file, but generally uh, this is going to be fine. Just write it and quit it, and then go back to the uh, SDDM, which is on Control Alt F9. Type your password to log back into Hyperland. Okay. Uh, bring your pointer somewhere on the screen here and uh, type uh, super plus Q to launch uh, your terminal here. You can type super plus R to launch Rofi. So you can type, um, you're going to run a web browser, for example. So in this case, we're just going to kill it with super plus C because we don't really need it. Uh, okay. Sorry, I missed an opportunity to press the correct button. Uh, then you are going to need a way to launch Waybar. So if you type Waybar, it's not going to launch. So instead you're going to type uh, dbus launch Waybar and press enter here give it a moment there are going to be some errors this is the same on linux on any os waybar always gives you some errors that you need to correct along the way but as you can see it does run so cancel it kill it and edit the um, hyperland config file once again config hyper hyperland okay go to run once Let's see where that was. Exits once. Okay. Here, unhash this one and remove what you don't want to run just now. And we are going to launch Waybar automatically on Hyperland login. Uh, type dbus launch here. This is important. Save this and quit. Uh, let's see one more time with Waybar. Where is it launching from? Okay, using configuration file user local uh, at its xdg Waybar. Okay, go to user local at its xdg Waybar and in here you are going to find two config files. Make directory home dart dot config waybar and then copy both of these files to home dart dot config waybar. Okay. CD dot config waybar and we have those two files now and let's edit the first one config.json so here there are some things that you're going to have to change in order to make it work and be compatible with hyperland hyperland okay so in order for workspaces to function with hyperland and communicate with hyperland change sway to uh, hyperland 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 some of these modules don't actually work but uh, just change them all and then go one by one through the error messages hyperland this is how you're going to learn what is actually going on um, with uh, your waybar hyperland if you find any more of these sways uh, you can just change them here to Hyperland and later figure out why they work or why they don't work. Hyperland, uh, as I said, many of these don't actually work until you uh, install them fully. Okay, I think we are good for now. There may be one more way around here. I'm not sure. Maybe we can find it with quick search way not that one 
Okay, there isn't anymore. Okay, write this and quit. And now we are going to launch with the DBus launcher waybar and give it a couple of moments until it initializes. And now it's going to support uh, the, uh, you can see number two. If I go to number three, you can see that we are on the number three somewhere over there on the top left corner. Uh, also in the uh, in the middle, you now see that it's Alacrity, the window that we currently are running. Some other things are uh, completely functional now, like the battery status. It's a 99%. I have two batteries, so that's kind of detected as well. Automatically, 43 degrees Celsius up of something, probably the CPU. You're going to check for the configuration about that. 13% of uh, probably RAM, that's the CPU with zero. 85% uh, of volume of my sound blaster, 37% uh, of volume of my microphone, uh, and stuff like that. And the um, clock is pretty much correct. Okay, good. Basically, this is everything that you need to know to quickly get started with Hyperland on FreeBSD. I have shown you in the previous video how to install FreeBSD. Very easy. Uh, in this video, I have showed you how to install Hyperland. Also very easy. If you need to add more stuff uh, like um, the um, file manager graphically, uh, used or anything else that you want to bind on your key combinations feel free to follow any hyperland guide on the internet there are gazillions of them and pretty much after this point most of your hyperland configuration is going to be universal uh, between linux and freebsd only a couple of um, uh, little tweaks are needed in the way how FreeBSD handles your sound car maybe or stuff like that. But generally what I showed you so far is enough for you to get started. I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something today. And if you liked it, if you learned something, if you appreciate what I'm doing, give it a like, subscribe, uh, give me some money maybe on coffee. You know, <laughs> I don't uh, mind getting money. And um, I'm going to see you in the next video, right?